Hey, it's some old guy coding again today, and uh, I'd say for the last 20 years, the uh, the neighbor guy has uh, plowed my driveway for me, and he's done a fantastic job. Really has spoiled us. Um, but this year he's going to be working uh, more time out of state working, so he won't be able to do it. So he lined up somebody to uh, plow for us here. Um, but you know, the next door neighbor guy just really spoiled us because he'd plow, you know, midway through a storm so that we could get out to work. Because, uh, you know, we all work in healthcare here and we work odd hours sometimes and, and uh, have to get out of the house. Um, but now the guy we've hired, he's going to wait until the end of the snowfall, I'm sure, and then uh, just plow once, and that's fine because I can't afford anything more anyway. So, um, Given this new situation, I decided it was uh, finally time to see that I could get the snowblower running again. And lo and behold, I poured some gas into it, to figured out which way to turn the uh, fuel uh, uh, stopper on, and uh, primed it a couple of times. It's got one of those electric starts where you uh, plug an extension cord into uh, the snowblower and you push a button. So it's really easy, So and it cranked right over and started right up. I couldn't believe it. Amazing. But uh, there's a, a broken part, or a missing part, on uh, this is the shell to uh, you know direct the uh, uh, snow which way it goes, and it's got these wonderful. Uh, let's see if we can get this to fall apart here for us. It's got these little things that kind of clamp on the piece of metal of, of the outflow port there that, to help this thing rotate around on. And of course, I've lost one of those. It's fallen off over the years, and I've never kept track of it. So what the heck, I 3D printed one here, and this is a solid piece of PLA. Hopefully that'll hold together. It seems very tough. Uh, I've got quarter 20, uh, three quarter uh, by uh, quarter 20 by three quarter uh, bolts coming through there. And I know I have some lock nuts. Uh, I can't find them in this mess right now. Ooh, maybe that's them right there. Oh no, it's not. But <clears throat> in any case, I'll throw a little, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, a super glue or something on those once I have them on. So it looks like this should work for me. I think it will. So uh, here we fixed a uh, snow blower with a 3D printer. Imagine that. So we're, I'm going to go out there. We'll give her a try here and let you know how it goes. But wait, don't go yet. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future episodes from this channel. And if you'd like to help out and support this channel, uh, go to patreon.com slash coding for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.